The 8900 is loaded with stitches for doing all kind of different sewing applications. You do have 270 built-in stitches on the machine. And they've added a lot of stitches with quilters and garment sewers in mind. You will have your basic utility stitches, the ones you use more often, your straight stitch, straight straight stitch, zigzag. Then you have several different styles of one-step buttonhole. The nice thing about the 8900, it does the 9 millimeter width. That is the largest size on any genomic machine. So you'll save literally thousands of dollars on the 8900 versus some of the top of the line. You see all the features that are built in. Genomi added several applique stitches to the machine with different tacks in between. Uh, some are double tack. I can adjust the length between the tacks. I can adjust the width of each tack. Then I also have a whole category of heirloom sewing. Basically, all the more popular heirloom stitches are built in onto the machine. I will have other utility and quilting stitches here that are built in. All the popular ones that you'll find, they're all on one machine. And then I'll have more styles of buttonhole for when I'm working with stretchy material. I have eyelets that are built in as well that I can make on the machine. More heirloom stitches, more quilting stitches here. Again, when you have a really pretty thread and you hit that 9 millimeter width, you'll notice the difference versus other machines that are out there. And then I have a whole series of decorative stitches for making borders. There's a memory bank built in that I can combine all these stitches together. So if I want to make a unique uh, border to something, I can combine dozens and dozens of stitches together and do that all at one time, adjusting the length and adjusting the width on all those. There's some really pretty pictograph uh, Real fun designs that are built in on the sewing side of this machine to do and embellish garments with. Then you also have the different fonts that are built in that I can sew in upper and lower case. We think it's very important that we tell you the standard accessories that comes with the machine. The 8900 is loaded with accessories. I've showed you the table, the extra large foot control, the knee lift, the seam guide that comes with the machine. But also with 8900, you will get extra screwdrivers and seam rippers, and that's what's to be expected. But Janome's went above and beyond with what they are including with the machine. There are several hundred dollars worth of presser feet that is included. You will get the free motion stippling foot that is built in. If you need to, to darn a hole, you have the ability to do that with the machine. You'll have the roll hem foot that's built in, our open toe clear foot's built in. We have an overcast foot built in. We'll have the satin stitch foot, and it has a little orange guide that helps us guide our fabric along the way. Having those clear feet are, are a must when you're quilting, being able to see and it being more visible. I have the blind hem foot. I'll have the standard quarter inch seam guide foot. That's one of the most popular quilting attachments you'll find. Of course, you get extra spool caps that'll come with the machine. Now, you get the narrow zipper foot, and this is a, it's a really nice foot in that you have that narrow head that you can get up close to your zippers, but you can also use this foot when you're putting on cording and piping. Because you can notice here I have indentions on the foot. I can get my needle and move my needle right up to the edge of these indentions. So that if I wanted to attach cording or piping, I have the ability to do that. Then I have my button sewing foot. I have showed you already the AccuFeed walking foot will come with the standard head. Ken Sewing carries all the optional accessories for this machine. If you have any questions about a certain sewing application or what is available, we will have all these presser feet on the website. If you look in our sewing machine foot section, look under 9mm Janome presser feet because there is a difference in the 9mm versus the older style, which is the 7mm. This next attachment that I'm going to show you is probably one of the best attachments Janome has ever come out with, and that is the convertible free motion foot. This particular foot has a lot of features to it. One, if you'll notice our little dial right here and it's spring-loaded, I can adjust this dial and it's going to drop the foot down or I can raise the foot up. And you say, well, why do you want to do that? There are times when we're doing free motion stippling, we may have a thicker batting in our quilt. Whether if it's a quilt that we're using as a utility quilt, that I, you know, I want to make sure I've got as much batting in it as possible to stay warm versus a wall hanging where you won't use as much batting. I want to have the ability to adjust that so that my head is not bearing down into the quilt. 
Another nice thing about this, if you'll look on this side, I have this little screw right here. I can take that out and these heads will come off. So I have the standard stippling head. I will have the open toe head and then I have the echo quilting head. There also now is a new optional head that you can get for doing rooter foot sewing. Again, any question you may have about the presser feet or any other optional accessories, feel free to ask for a salesperson when you call. We'll be glad to recommend the correct foot for you.